It's hey, the land of that Casio. Hey, what were you doing? What were you applying to your mouth there? A mic condom. That was oh, it, it was, was a, a yes, it was cylindrical in shape. T- t- testes one two. Yes, testes. They are there. They are there. One two three. Uh, nope, nope, just two. Um, how are you? How are you, buddy? How are you first? I ask. Dude, we're getting here to the end of the year, man. How about that? <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> uh, where did this? <laughs> If I were getting any better, I'd be twins. Hey, where, where is this year gone for real, though? Oh, by the way, you don't get me started on that. I heard one the other day. <laughs> I knew and it. I thought I couldn't wait to tell you about it. Okay. This, this guy was getting mad at another guy. I don't know what they were beefing about in front of the uh, the uh, gas station. It always it's all gas from station. The country yeah. gas station. Yeah. They're getting mad at each other, and they said, "Oh, you know what? Just rub your mad spot and go on." And I went, what? I said, wait. Hey, it took me like the whole time I was just walking to the gas station. It I doesn't couldn't buy anything. matter. No, it doesn't matter that it doesn't make any sense. But I couldn't buy anything because my brain was not focused on the shopping. It was going. You have some M&Ms your mad and you left spot. a 20. You yeah. left a 20 and just walked out. What does what? that mean? Rub my mad spot, wherever that is. Just, just rub, rub it. it and get out and, of here. And go on. Yeah, and I went. Like, I love country uh, <laughs> euphemisms, and I don't even know if that's the right word, but, like, in that song, the country song that the guy sings, he goes, uh, what this world's gotten to, you know, like the world's, yeah. what it's gotten to, I don't know, I don't know, just just different phrases strike me as funny, and that that is one, rub you. If you don't, if you don't find this funny, <laughs> rub your mad spot and go on. That's all we go got on. to say about it. So my buddy used to say... <laughs> I'm so hungry. My belly thinks my throat's been cut. <laughs> Wait, I'm so hungry. My belly thinks my throat's, my throat's been cut. Because nothing's getting down there. No, I so like it. Coming. I love it. It works. So he'd also say that boy was so skinny, his belly button rubbed a blister on his backbone. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, come That's on. That's it, though. They make come sense. On. They totally don't, but I love it. All right, we got to keep it random. We started off with a random meme of the week. Yeah. Anything from the interwebs that our producer Dom finds funny. Oh, Lord. Then he just this brings it on us. This Let's see what he's hurt. got for us today. Testing. Kids today will never <laughs> understand the masterpiece of cinematography so, of Pet Venture, uh, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Pet Detective, yeah, they won't. Going and out they, of Toronto. Unless they are my children, and then they will be forced to watch the videos <laughs> as they grow up. It's getting kind of hot in these rhinos. <laughs> when he was yeah. doing, when his mouth was hung at the last bit, he was going. <laughs> oh, it was so great. Uh, uh-huh. Then he flopped out on the ground, and the little kid got her eyes covered. Hey, so you know, the other, the, the other day... I just stumbled. I was flipping through mindlessly <laughs> on television, and <laughs> Dumb and Dumber was on, and oh, I was yeah. like, "Man, I haven't seen it in too long." You yeah. know, yeah. one of those movies where you so go, long. Why haven't I watched it? <laughs> you hadn't seen it in so long, <laughs> was, you stopped to watch it. Yeah, yeah. and there was parts popping me like it was the first time. You know, <laughs> it always does. The, the things that are funny to you are still funny <laughs> to you. Saying. You know what I mean? It's not like it got dumb and dumber. It's like it's. Like, we talked about it before. It's why I can watch Young Frankenstein because a different part tickles me yeah, every time. Yeah, yeah. There's so many <laughs> little pieces of comedy in there. You know what I mean? That you gotta, oh. you have to watch it several times <laughs> to pick them all out. Speaking of comedy gold, I don't yes. know. I don't, I don't yes, yes. That was a horrible segue. Well, right you there. you met him a long time ago. I oh, are we doing that? Handful. Are we doing it? Yeah, well, I only met him a handful of years ago. Okay, we so did, we're doing it. So we're doing we it now. We did a comedy show at a convention, at a StarCast. No way. Yes. You That's guys got more to talk about than, than we do, I but feel you, like. Well, you know what? I want to do it now. I want to just introduce it. him. Bring this in your is a, is a friend of mine, and I'm proud to have on the show. I'm I'm almost proud that he's a friend of mine, um, but he's uh, he's the only guy that has ever. There's two guys. He's the only guy that I like that was ever in a WLC match. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you Hornswoggle. Hornswoggle, Whoa. ladies and gentlemen. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. 
Guys, hey, 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 Dillo, no, no, we're, we're going to give you a pop. I'm listening yeah. in the waiting room to two hillbilly bumpkins <laughs> talk and, like, like, pop off these sayings that you guys were. Yeah. I, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. All of the words mesh into one, and I'm literally saying to myself, what was that? What, like, what did I say? Am I missing something? Yeah. Or it's really, it must be funny because you guys are popping each other, <laughs> but I had zero idea what you guys were saying. The whole it, 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 on, then. Ch it's, chances are it wasn't funny. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what, that's were popping me because you were popping so Yeah, hard. well that's was, half that's half the, that's half the allure here. You just watch us laugh at each other's stupidity, and that might be funny to you. I think. I heard something about a G, like rubbing a G spot outside a gas station, <laughs> or, or like because he's really mad. But that's what it sounded like to me. I'm not gonna lie. No, but that's I mean, that's better. That's actually a a lot better than the story. Than the actual true story. Dylan, you look great. I feel okay. Dude. <laughs> dude, well, ser seriously though, dude, you look. I know it's just for men, but your beard's oh, you got a great a beard. Real dark beard with a tan. I can't take the hat off because it's real receding right here. I get it. I get it. I keep the long hair because then it thickens over the bald yeah really, yeah yeah when i cut it if when when it's time to cut it it's getting all shaved off yeah 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 you I, i'm go. all about length not so much thickness okay oh, i totally let me write that down with my somewhere. hair my hair yeah yeah oh. no i yeah. i knew you I, well i didn't know yeah. what you were talking about Dad i was down. thinking for me that gummit that at oh. least uh it may be skinny but at least it's short <laughs> um so, so hey so what are you what are you doing right now everything no, uh, I know. That's what I heard before we came on here. Like you literally are everywhere. I'm so trying. I'm really trying. Uh, so I'm still wrestling, even though my body is telling me, hey, my uh, body's telling me no, as R. Kelly said. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that might have been. I'm not sure he was talking about. But go okay. ahead. Go uh, ahead, though. My body's uh, telling me no. Quite a while. Quite a bit. Uh, I just started doing more and more like. I don't call them stand-up shows because I don't feel I should call them that because it's not my world. They're yeah. like evening with shows. I really, really enjoy doing those. I host a podcast every other week, Going Postal. I started a YouTube <laughs> channel a couple of years ago doing video diaries. I don't call them vlogs because I'm 37 years old. I'm not a child. Uh, I, and, and just, I run a, a wrestling company in Oshkosh, ACW, Wisconsin. I run a training school twice a week. It's Come on. Just, Life is nuts. But... Holy mackerel. You are a busy, busy beaver. And then uh, Landon, the 13-year-old going on 18-year-old, <laughs> just running my life. Yeah, yeah. And, not, uh, not ruining. Just no, running. 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 Yeah. There's no I in that except yep. again. But it's just, I, 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 I like being busy. I would love to be even more busy at times. But then yeah. when I get too busy, as you know, it's like, hey, this sucks. I need a break. <laughs> and when you're on that yeah. break, it's like yeah, that's that something. that's that double edged sword, man. Yeah, like you get yeah. you get cabin fever and you want to get out of the house. Then you go on the road and go, God, I wish I was just sitting in my house. Yes, um, yeah. but that's just how I feel yeah. still to this day. So. I love just sitting. Like I love just yeah. coming in my office and just going, I got nothing to do today. Remember it's that movie? Awesome. I forget what it was, but like Brad Pitt was stoned on the couch or something, and so I just said. All you're going to do is smoke weed and what if you <laughs> and eat Cheetos and just, this stuff steals your ambition. He said, what if my ambition was just to lay here and eat Cheetos? <laughs> I was like, that's I, my guy. Yeah. That is, there are days where that just sounds like the yeah, best day ever. That, yeah. And it turns out, turns out being one too. Comfy yeah. clothes, comfy clothes and murder shows is how Love I love it. Rolled, yeah. yeah. Hey, so going postal. Yeah. Uh, is that what what do you talk about wrestling everything. or everything so it's it's myself and my, my co-host george feast he uh he came up to me with the idea and it started on the major pod network and yep. now we're kind of our own thing and it's it's kind of a look into my career but also we like to go one week we'll have um about my life or my career yeah. or then my life with landon or then stuff about being i can say it you can today a midget yeah. Uh, I give you the card just today. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I probably won't. But thank, but thank you. It's so, okay. You know what? <laughs> we can't I was, save I was, it. I talk about it all the time. I go. You know what? I can't call it dwarf wrestling because it's not like grumpy and happy and in my case drunky. <laughs> I can't call it that. I can't call it little person wrestling because it's like Johnny Gargano. Uh, I can't. 
<laughs> it's midget wrestling. You're friends you with Johnny you G, aren't you? Yeah, you know what you get <laughs> with me. It's just it's it's one of those things where I, the word makes me money. I always say, it, yeah. it, you know what you're getting. So yeah, amen. It's a, but the going postal is literally just into my life, and we always talk at the end of the, every episode. We end with a hot take. Uh, and it's one thing that in life really bugs me that normal people enjoy, such as grilled cheese or going Ooh. for a walk. I just really don't like certain common things, and they really upset me. Um, Whoa. You don't like grilled cheese? No. It fucking sucks. Pardon my, uh, pardon the F. It that's sucks. okay. You can curse on you here. You can do what you want. Uh, you can do whatever you want, it, Dylan. It, what? You can go postal if you want to. Yes. About, You've about never grilled, eaten a grilled cheese and gone, man, that was amazing. They're greasy. Uh, There's nothing to them. They're always burned. They're never done right. They're useless. They're <laughs> toast. Fucking toast. Toast is my number one fucking piss off. You never, <laughs> toast. You never fucking eat toast. You've never no. eaten toast, and we're like, man, my fingers are just. I can rub them all over. You get nothing. <laughs> no, you get never eaten a piece of fucking toast and went. Oh, my beard is just clean. I can go to the baby. You can't. You're gonna get fucking peanut butter toast on the baby. <laughs> So what do you what what do you like? Would you prefer a wrap? Bread. Just a bread. Just bread. oh, just the soft bread. bread. It doesn't just crust everywhere. It. Great. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. That's good. You're tr you're right there. My grandma used to make me just a peanut butter sandwich with some vegetable soup. Peanut and butter was, and honey was always my. Oh yeah, that's good yeah, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good yeah. too. But no, not on toast for the love of God. Don't get it cranky. I, it, it, <laughs> uh, I, I feel my hands when I think about it. I lit fluffer nutter. Fluffer nutter. Oh, that's total sorry. dumb. Dumb. <laughs> Our producer I dumb. I feel my hands, hands when I think about nutter. like people eating it and just the crunch, the stupid crunch. It just makes my hands like going to fist. So like, what do you it, think about the people like from California and, and Nueva York that eat like avocado toast with a I fried egg on top? <laughs> Like that made you shoot hot for a yeah. second. Oh, oh, you mean the 30 seconds you can get a decent avocado, you're gonna put it on goddamn toast? <laughs> you're not gonna do that. You're not going and then you take a bacon on cheeseburgers got me real mad a few months ago. Oh, oh. you ever eat a bacon uh, you have never. You can and you and if you if you if you tell me you have, <laughs> you are lying to my little face. You you have never taken a bite out of bacon cheeseburger and not pulled bacon out. That's a fact. Okay. You got that is there. a fact. So why are we ruining it? And then, you know what happens? The bacon goes like that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. now it's all over. Look, I've been in a lot of situations <laughs> where things have been going like this. Especially but, me. I was wondering. <laughs> I was wondering out with the clip of me just but, slapping my chin. But bacon, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know was a part of. That's way down the list. Pig uh, and hog were in there. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> I, I realized a lot of my my things like that last week was going for walks and how I I find them very very stupid, like yeah. very dumb. Like you just walk away in, from your house and then just come back. <laughs> Why are we going for a fucking walk? Yeah, what are you, I, what's out there? Like I, you're walk. If you have a dog, it's one thing. Yeah. If you have a child, <laughs> we have yeah. a whole god dang backyard. If you live in New <laughs> yeah. York, move, fucking move, get out. Yeah. Don't, don't just just live in a place with a yard. You're gonna I have need a dog. You to a talk child? to my wife, Dill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, this is why you're not married, right? A hundred percent, one million percent. And this is why Landon, on a daily basis, Dad, you, you just get angry a lot. <laughs> and not at him. Yeah, just, yeah. Just goes, with life. He goes, it's very easy to make you upset. Yeah. I said, He's yeah, a because observant people just kid. Do stupid things. Like people they, are stupid. Yes. They you know they say people right. are people They're are strange when you're time. a stranger. They're wasting but, time. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot I of. Have, I have. I don't know how much time. I'm not gonna waste it taking a walk. I'm gonna waste <laughs> it like, sitting and eating Cheetos. That's enjoyable. Yes. Yes. Oh man. And then, <laughs> then you see like a, another murder show comes on. Well, I gotta sit here for this one. Yeah. I can't. I gotta see who they who did it. Oh, I've watched this episode of The Office where <laughs> Kevin spilled the chili nineteen times. Yeah. Number twenty. Let's Number twenty. Go. Here it comes. I My popped when he did it. Like, you're angry on this dog walk. Why are you not happy? And I'm like, we're walking. Yeah. I should be sitting on the couch. She's like, no. but don't you understand the dogs enjoy it? I go. I was throwing their toy in the backyard and it was, was rocking, by the yeah, way. Yeah, the, the, yeah. They were coming right back to me. 
<laughs> oh, oh, you want the dog? You think the dog loves sniffing every puddle of piss? No, the dog doesn't love sniffing every puddle he of wants, piss. He wants to go back and lay down, too. <laughs> he wants to go throw a ball. Five, Look, six, listen, five. both of us want to lay down and lick our balls. Only one of us is going to. <laughs> I, I could. <laughs> now I'm on the very bad. Hey, so you said you were still wrestling. Come on, what, man. Uh, you wrestled a, a buddy, a buddy, a, a, a friend of mine, Eric Smalls. I, I have put Eric Smalls over. <laughs> many people. Not, 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 not in the ring. Oh, I oh. The so I thought you were talking about putting lights. him over. I don't look at the lights. I put him over to so many people. I don't look Land, at the lights. Like Landon loves him. I, I, he has turned into such a, a, a dear friend of mine. Yeah, he's, he's a good kid. Awesome. Just a good-hearted human. Dude, me and him won the tag titles and somewhere in Indiana some doing one time. really <laughs> yeah yeah me and Eric Smalls man yeah. he's he's, he's a, uh yeah he's a great guy he really is really he's a good, really good, good dude, dude. Yep. and uh but but so I've seen you have some matches with him but what are you I, uh, do you work regularly or just every now yeah. and then and uh, so I had back surgery so I had back surgery when I was young uh like yeah. four the first one paralyzed me I talk about it all in the book life is short and so am life I. is short which you can get on the website, dylanpuzzle.com. Yep. But I uh, I had major back surgery when I was a kid. The first one paralyzed me for six months. Second one, they fused. They put fusion, uh, fusion in my back, and they said the first thing was that they said was no trampolines and no contact sports. Obviously, I didn't listen to them. <laughs> uh, so then three years, it was coming right out of COVID. I had back surgery because I took a shot in 2021, and everything went numb and like dead. Oh. So I was like, okay, I should probably get this looked at. No yeah. one wanted to do the surgery on me because of my, my stature and my old surgeries. Yeah. So we did decon where it's not so tight on my spine. Yeah. Uh, they did that on the middle of my spine to try to fix it. It didn't work. And somehow the nerves reacted abnormally and knocked all feeling in my legs out so my Whoa. thighs my thighs are always feel like they're like pulled and then my feet yeah. are numb tried another surgery exactly a year later to my lower spine under my fusion to try to help it didn't work same issues so uh to say i'm active is in quotes but yeah. uh i'm still doing i don't I can still bite an ass, dog. I can yeah, still yeah, I, I get it. And look, I what an ass, ass you could bite. You know I what might, I mean? Yeah, I might not go up to off the top. That might be a little high for me nowadays. But I can bite an ass and I can do a stunner. That, <laughs> I'm a really good at slapping hands. Yeah, Very good. Awesome. Sure. Awesome. I'm 6'4 and I'm not going off the top <laughs> rope either. But it's, so. it's, I'm, yeah, I, I, I should step back. But it's, yeah. I always say, uh, I didn't get trained to sign my name, my fake name. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I didn't go through all of this stuff to sign my fake name. Is that the smartest thing to do? Yeah. I probably should just be okay signing my fake name. Yeah. But, uh, that's a very hard pill to swallow that I, I'm I get not ready it, man. To. I get it. You're not ready to swallow that pill no. yet. You know what I mean? That's, I totally get that. Um, and the straights maybe not get it, but you know what I mean? Like I, I get exactly. it. Once you still, if I still have something to give to those people, I want to give it to them and I want them to give it back. You know what I and mean? And that's but also like running the school here is very like, it's kind of my, I don't get in the ring very much because I don't want them to like, it's hard to be honest. It's hard for me to teach an, one of you normies uh, <laughs> how to, how to do things. So yeah. I, I'm very vocal and very visual when I'm teaching. Yeah. So that's, but that also, it's like, man, it gives me that drive twice a yeah. week. To, yeah. Oh man, I should get in there. I should be. So doing how this. many, how many people you got? Uh, over every week, it's twice a week. And then like a, we call it a secret camp on Sundays, which is just like, all right, whoever wants to come. Ring, come ring over time. Over 40 kids yeah, open the, yeah, ring. Over 40 kids in the class twice a week. So it's great. Wow, I love it. Holy crap. I, that is awesome. And this how is our eighth, doing it? Our, this is our eighth year of the school. This Jeez. coming Friday, uh, my company uh, has our 10th year anniversary, which is pretty awesome. So. I'll be darned. Do you yeah. ever, uh, I don't know if I'm going to say something and you're going to get hot here. Dave Hero, uh, he's from yeah, around no, no. there. Do you all work together? Yeah, or? Yep. yeah, we've worked together a lot in the past. 
Okay, that's what I. Yep. That's what I, I just wanted to make sure yeah. you guys weren't competition. Or no, no. I. <laughs> here's the thing. I always say like competition shouldn't be there. Yeah. Everyone says it, but no one means it. I. Yeah. I mean it because I don't give a shit anymore. Yeah. I. Competition shouldn't be there because all it is is hurting each other. Yeah. Like, you're agreed. not. You're hurting each other's business and your own business. <laughs> yeah, because like, especially when you get down to the, and a lot of the people that watch this probably know what I'm talking about because they're probably that close to the industry, all <laughs> seven of them. Um, and we're we're three, by the way. Uh, but, but, <laughs> but, but um, I totally forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Competition. Competition. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when it gets to the point where you go, my champion can't work for that guy or, so, or something like that, it's like, Okay, I it's th three hours away. Like it's okay. Well, well, not only that, but the thing is, if I'm not paying this person uh, to not work for that place, right? Who am I to say you can't work there? Yeah. Now, if I'm gonna go over and above and go, you know what? Instead of taking that booking, here's this money that you would make plus merch money that you would make plus right. this. That's one thing. That is one thing. No You're one's going to do that. Nobody's doing that. No one's going to do that. And so you let the, but look, I, I would argue that you have the luxury of knowing what uh, the other side of that promoter yeah. line is. You know what I mean? You've been yep. there and not got paid. You've been there and yep. done it. So, so when you, when you're in that position, you're going to make sure everybody's treated right and I handled always, right. I always laugh because I always go, man, I almost want, I've only had it happen once uh, so far since being released years ago now but it's like i almost want someone to stand me up like and just leave with the with the cash box and just see, <laughs> yeah. especially local just to see what i can steal like from yeah. them like that yeah, ring yeah. From, coming home from that from that, are coming. that venue i tell you what that Her bobcat are coming home. that bobcat in the trophy case i'm taking that <laughs> if i can find put those ring steps in my kia they're going yeah, in yeah there. they're going I'm, in there you're like the jerk the end of the jerk <laughs> yeah and i'm gonna take this remote I, own, I rent a u-haul just to see yeah. the ring like that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> this lamp and this lamp is all i need <laughs> you bought that lamp that's oh, mine i know <laughs> hey dylan when did you at what age and did you start did you get trained to wrestle yeah uh mr anderson ken kennedy okay what, and me, what uh, was he was he working or did y'all just train together yeah, no, he was he was wrestling i got trained when i was 17 in uh 2003 so this year is 20 years 20 years of dylan postal yeah Oh, yeah, there's the crazy yeah, there. About, like, 20, 20 years. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I started bastard. training when I was 17. Old and, and it's one of those, like, I always told Ken and, and, and them, I said, I don't want to get trained to be a midget wrestler. Like, yeah. I don't want to learn ass bites and that. I wanted to be Rey Mysterio. I wanted to be Jeff Hardy. I wanted yeah. to be Amazing Red. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. So I wanted to be a, a, a cruiserweight. And at my age and size back then, I did it. At my age and size now, I love biting an ass. <laughs> let, me, let me get the, the taste of that stuff. starfish <laughs> in here, mister. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. But uh, let's let's talk about, so you started at 17. Yeah. Where, where'd you have your first match? Uh, the Neng Yi Performance Center in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I was in Woo! a battle royal, you know, because it was a Halloween show. And uh, there was, a you know, the promoter sees yeah. him training for his company and goes, oh, man. We need the midget on a show now. Now, now. I get it. And that I don't have a white him. tiger. And you, I don't have to pay him hardly anything. I need him <laughs> now. Oh, and he's gonna bring his family. Yeah. Now, like. Yeah. I, but I, I didn't care, man. I was. Heck in no, that you mind. don't. Yeah. Dude. I would. That was a wrestle. That was my WrestleMania right there. <laughs> I was, I was at my name. Hey, you know what? No, that's so great. I remember yeah. this. I feel so crappy about every time I say this. Me and Billy showed up at this indie show, and we're looking and like we're at this little crappy building. <laughs> the two dudes we're working are standing next to us, and the guys are looking at the venue, and they go, this is our WrestleMania, man. And I just started laughing at him. Yeah. Yeah. Then I thought, show. I'm so sorry, uh, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you meant that. I just did a show uh, during the summer. And we, it was, it was like at a, at a fair, it was a fair show. Yeah. So we went, we were in doing the show in like a show barn, like a, like a, <laughs> oh. like a, where they show the fucking horses and pigs yeah. and all that. Sure. Yeah. The 4-H, the 4-H club. Cor our lock. Oh, I wish it was inside like a 4-H club. That would have been great. That would have been the Ritz. Uh, <laughs> we were, we were changing where they would wash said horses oh. and that, well, it was dry. 
but I literally was putting on my shoes and my pants, <laughs> and I look at Landon, and I go, I was on WrestleMania once. <laughs> <laughs> he, he goes six of them i go yeah. fuck you <laughs> thank you thank you son thank you <laughs> but, but that's the, ba- you that's ain't, the best you ain't man. getting your cut of merch tonight boy right all right dylan let's take a short break real quick and tell you about our friends over at a g one dog mm. You tell us all the time, man, you get them bubble guts pretty easy. (laughs) Well, I do. And there's nothing uh, that keeps me regular is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say regular. Uh, But but it does start from the inside out. And that goes for aging. That goes for gut health. That goes for uh, immune optimization. That goes for everything you would take a supplement for is in this one scoop of AG1. And and they're talking about it's uh, easing into your golden years like it's 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 exactly what you should be taking to age properly. Um and I don't That's know why if you've it's looked called at, foundational Yeah, nutrition. foundational nutrition, man. It's yeah. it's everything you need in that one scoop and convenience is the name of the game for me because I am busy as a beaver and so I I, I get around, you know what I mean? I'm like I'm like Susie. Uh no, who was it that got around? <laughs> I think it was a Barbara Ann, maybe Barbara Ann. Um, anyway, I get around. I get around. But, no, no. I get around. I get around. I get around. I, anyway, get around. Um, I, I, so I'm busy. So that convenience, man, is, is it. It's, it's 75 or more different uh, supplements in that one scoop. And, man, we talk about how cheap it is. It's, it's under $3 a day, cheaper than your, than your Starbucks coffee, that's for sure. So if you want to start... Uh, taking ownership in your health, one scoop a day. And man, when you when you sign up, they'll send you the travel pack that's been yeah. uh, invaluable for me. Um, it's convenience. It's convenience and and health from the inside out in a in a jug. You know what I mean? It's it's crazy. Hey, if you are a long time listener, you might know that AG One's been with us for just the, almost the entire time of this yep. entire podcast. You know why? Not only are we drinking it, but that means a lot of oh you didn't know listeners are drinking it as well. They are putting that scoop, whether you take it in the morning, afternoon, yep. night, whenever you take it. That's the beauty of it. It's convenient, okay? And look, when you start drinking AG1 daily, you notice that difference in your daily health. Mm-hmm. You notice that difference in your energy level. That you notice your the difference. When you feel more relaxed, you can focus. Your gut's already on the right path. Yeah. That's and your because, mind is too, for that matter. It helps yeah. it with anxiety. And so, yeah, it's just being in shape now more than ever is very important. Uh, and being healthy on the inside and then it bleeds to the outside. That's the way to go, AG1. It's like we said, that's because AG1 is a foundational nutrition supplement yep. that supports your body's universal needs like gut optimization, stress management and immune support since 2010 ag1 has led the future of foundational nutrition continuously refining their formula to create a smarter better way to elevate your baseline health now look my wife takes it and if you know if you've ever seen her she's trying to do wrestling she does crossfit all the time she loves it because ag1 has a team of doctors and scientists and it's tested for 950 contaminants, and it's NSF certified for sport. It is formulated based on the latest science and maintains high-quality standards. She pays attention to whatever she puts in her body. She wants to know where it came from, what's it doing for me, and why am I doing it, and that's why she loves AG1 as well. So AG1 is a supplement that we trust to provide the support our body needs daily. And that's why they've been a partner for so long. And if you want to take ownership of your health, it starts with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and those five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash D-O-G-G. That's drinkag1.com slash dog. Check it out today. Be sure you tell them, oh, oh, you didn't know, sent you there at drinkag1.com slash dog. And we appreciate 
AG1 for being a longtime partner of Oh You Didn't Know. Muchas gracias, AG1. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. Yeah, it's um, just, but, it's, but but look, that's also you really fun to do that too. Sometimes. I love it. You know I what I mean? Love, it really is. I love the super shows. Yeah. And I love the shit ones. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But like, such a cast of characters, not just like in the locker room, but the right, fans. right. The fans, Everything. and yeah. And if you spend some time at the gimmick table, you oh, will be entertained. It. That is you my, will favorite, <laughs> my favorite place is behind my merchandise. Yeah. I truly love it for every reason. Yeah, I love pushing merch, it's fun to me. I really enjoy it. I love interacting with people, I yeah. love meeting and greeting all walks of life. Like yeah. it's it's very very fun and I, I I I love being able to still do it. I truly truly do because I know this and I know working at Target. Yeah, but I'm okay with that. Like I truly yeah, yeah I got no I'm problem okay with, with that. that. When this time comes and just I just not today. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm good going back to working at Target. Hey, I want to go to heaven. I yeah, just don't yeah. want to go today. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> I got I truly it. Truly, am like I'm very happy that. I get to do this still. And it's like, I always, I tell the students all the time. I go, the minute you don't enjoy this, get out yeah. because now you're doing it and it's work. Like it's truly work. And right. And this, this, this line of work should not be where it should be a, a goal a, a dream that you catch and Why you are ride you, it as Why are long you as you can. Multiple times <laughs> multiple <laughs> right. on a hard mat. For uh, at that level, yeah, not gas money a lot of the time, right? Well, not gas money today, that's for sure. Enjoy it, like why, why? Yeah, I why, mean, why, why are you doing this? It sounds like punishment. It's yeah. the same same people that hate <laughs> watching wrestling so bad. I'm like, why do you watch that don't, crap? If you it sounds like you hate it, there's, there's <laughs> like, a lot. Don't watch there's that. a lot to watch. Like, there's yeah, a lot there's to watch. you could stream all kind of stuff. Lot, I remember yeah. that one time me and you were watching. No, we weren't. <laughs> hey, but but, but let's let's. So where did you start? You started working there and you worked yeah. in that battle Royal. And did you start working like weekly or no yeah. once a month maybe? Yeah. Yeah. And, but then it was like, Oh, here's like two shots a month. I never traveled farther than Indianapolis. I was only like Wisconsin. I shouldn't have gotten hired. I always say <laughs> like, I, I legitimately shouldn't have gotten hired. I didn't, I worked Indies from 2003 to 2006 uh but like again working indies it was the once a month maybe yeah yeah you're not you're not you're not clocking in no uh, 40 hours a week no you're in you're in a wrestling ring oh i don't know if you were training but like at first when i wasn't training and just doing the indies i was in a wrestling ring 12 minutes a a, a week you know what i mean or whatever we were training before shows that's it oh yeah yeah. Yeah. till the doors once a month (laughs) yes Two hours before till the doors, and that's all I trained. I've never been formally trained to wrestle. Yeah, me either. Like me, <laughs> when I talked to X Pac, that's yeah. what I did, and I and I talked to X Pac about it and, and told him I didn't learn how to wrestle till I teamed with you, and I'd already been tag champ five times. You know what I mean? Like, and I had no idea what I was yeah. doing. And that yeah. look, I I look now and I realize I still have no idea what I was doing or what they're doing we can either. Think it really well, but, <laughs> but, really yeah, good but I am full of crap enough to make you buy it for a, a couple moment, ass for a bites moment. and a couple of shitty jabs, and we're good. Like, that's you will suspend need. your disbelief. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there was, it was literally just working those the, the couple times a month. And then, yeah. uh, WWE, Ken got hired and it was like this whole, like, oh man, someone from here can get hired. Like, yeah. Wisconsin is a very much a black hole. I've always said it. It's a very much a black hole where. Can I say that I effing love it though? I love it. I love it. I love it is- Wisconsin. <laughs> I do, man. I but do. It is, it is, uh, yeah. it is. Uh, Alabama of the Midwest and, yeah. and, and I love it. And I love yep. Alabama too. It's, it's, home, it's, it's, it's hometown, man. Like it's yeah, home, yes. every place in Wisconsin has that hometown feel. And I, I always say, I go, you're from Oshkosh by gosh, Wisconsin. I go, yes. Yeah. And they go, why? I said, well, I've been literally everywhere for yeah. the most part. And I've and, and that's where I decided to stay. Yeah. And I have, <laughs> but I haven't found a place that goes, you need to be here more than there right yeah. right I, I can't i can't love you more than my hometown 
Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a country wow. music singer in my part what is, time. What is that? It was a, it was a yeah, flutter. That happens fluff, here. Yeah. Fluffer nutter. The fluffer nutter. Dog, I've got a question to ask you personally. Are you tired of spam calls and people trying to get you to watch ads or maybe a telemarketer blowing you up? Yeah, I'm tired of that. I, it makes me want to reach through the phone. Put them what, anyway. Go ahead. What if I said they had to pay to get to you now? Would that be something you're interested in? Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, then you so, need to know about our new friends over at Vida. We've been telling Vida. you about it now for a few weeks. V-I-D-A. That's it. They've created a new form of advertising that eliminates spam and allows everyone to get paid for their time and attention. You simply go to Vida.io to download the Vida app. And then you for select free. a Yeah, for free. Yeah. You select a free second phone number for free. You no longer have to worry about giving away your personal number. So when a telemarketer calls your Vita number, they'll need to pay a me to pay to get a message to you, dog. <laughs> Suckers. Vita <laughs> outsmarted you all. I'm just kidding. Brands I mean, are finally brands are finally realizing the value of rewarding their customers for their time and attention. And plus, one of our main sponsors here on Oh You Didn't Know, Crowd Health. Yep. which we've told you about many times, they are using the Vita app themselves. It's yep. not only a fun way to support the show, but you can also earn some money in the process. So try it out today. Download the app, Vita.io, V-I-D-A.io, or you can call right now, 509-WRESTLE, and follow the link they give you. That's 509-973-7853, or his dog calls it, 509 wrestle and you will help support the show and if yeah. you call right now you're going to earn your first one dollar just for downloading the app how about I'll that be darn. i'll be darn it. you're literally putting your own self and your own phone behind a paywall putting uh, worth on yourself says. yeah putting uh, paywall worth. install and earn with download vita. now or give them a call today and we thank vita for supporting oh you didn't know Thank you. Um, listen, what, uh, <laughs> so, so, so did Anderson get you hired? Yeah. WWE was looking, I always say was looking for a person like me, but yeah. now I can just say WWE was looking for a midget. <laughs> okay. At the time they were, you're correct. <laughs> they, they were trying out, uh, midgets to be Finley's leprechaun and they, it just wasn't happening. And yeah. then Ken said to Fit, he goes, hey, I got the guy. He's he's good-hearted. He's a good kid. He can take bumps, all of this. They try me out in Green Bay, actually. There was a SmackDown taping in Green Bay. They pull me in the promo room to do promos with Fit. He yeah. asked me to do an Irish accent. I fail miserably. <laughs> <laughs> so much so that I remember. And I don't know if Fit even remembers. But we walked out. I go, oh, man, how did that go? He goes, huh, not very well. <laughs> but okay. can I you know now Fit would say that no matter who it was or if it was great or 100%. not. He would... <laughs> but he truly meant it that time. Like, that was a truly like, huh, oh, at least you were here once. You oh, know? Yeah. Like, you're yeah, freaking rotten. <laughs> yeah. And then we like, not well. I, I, didn't, I didn't expect to hear back. And two weeks later, uh, a blocked number came up on my on my phone three or four times in the morning, about eight in the morning, nine in the morning, and I just kept sending it to voicemail because I was like, I'm not paying this credit card company that wants my money. Yeah. It's not happening. <laughs> it's not, or this ambulance bill. Correct. I'm not doing it. Oh, oh, MasterCard, you want the you the monthly payment? Sorry. You want, you want the money I charged call. up? How dare yeah. you? It's your fault for letting me have money. And then yeah. there, I finally like it's there's a voicemail. It's Dylan, this is Tommy Dreamer. We want to give you a lot of money and hire you. We want to give you a contract. Please call me back. And I was like, someone's fucking with me. <laughs> a, because they'll never hire me. And B, because no one talks in such a monotone voice for a whole voicemail. Like a whole a minute whole and a half voicemail. voicemail. No one talks in. Dylan, call me back. Please, this is Tommy Dreamer. And no one also would introduce himself in an office position as 
ECW's Tommy <laughs> Dreamer. <laughs> This is ECW's television. Yeah, Tony like, Dreamer. None of this shit matched up. I was like, someone's fucking with me. Yeah. Uh, so finally, I give him a call. He goes, Oh, you decided to call me back. That's good. <laughs> um, we have, we're going to pull you to TV. You're going to start as Finley's Leprechaun, I guess. Uh, Howard <laughs> Finkel is calling you. Now I'm paying. Howard fucking Finkel is calling you? <laughs> the voice? Why? He's going to give you your travel. I said, why is Howard Finkel giving you my travel? <laughs> and sure enough, he did. He gave my travel. Whenever I would get travel from Howard, it was the most mind-blowing thing. Dylan, you're going to Poughkeepsie. <laughs> Watch out for Kane. It was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> Watch out for Kane. Watch out for Kane. Like, <laughs> I know Finley's working Kane, but what, what the fuck? <laughs> why is Howard Finkel doing it? Oh, like, I love it. But it was it was it was off literally off to the races. Three weeks later, I'm traveling to the Philippines. I don't know still to this day where the Philippines are. So <laughs> I didn't know them for sure. I I didn't have a passport. I didn't have anything. They had to get all this shit rushed. Like yeah. And but it was it was such a I, I describe it as a full out zero to hero transition of I remember going into Target on my last day and going, Hey guys, uh, this is my last day. I'm not going to be here on Monday for my shift. They go, oh, are you going to be here Tuesday? I said, no, no, nope. They go, <laughs> okay, Wednesday? I said, no, I'm I'm done. Oh, well, why? I said, well, I'm working for WWE. They go, well, you can't do both. <laughs> and I looked at them, and I go, mm, I don't think that's going to work, guys. <laughs> I don't I'm think... really sorry. Like, But it was just such a small-town kid. Like, I didn't know anything about the road. No. Yeah, about because life. I didn't experience it. I never experienced <laughs> yeah. that. I, you're, I, you're, you're, how old then? you're how old then? Uh, it's, uh, 19 turning 20. Jeez, Holy please. mackerel. I was 19. Uh, I got hired three days before my 20th birthday. And it was like, and I started on the road that week. And Holy crap. It, was, it was instantly like, no wonder you're ruined. Fuck. <laughs> you're so <laughs> ruined. I, like, hey, I do want to ask you about this. It, it, it's not about yeah. being ruined, but it's about being friends with Cardona and, and Brian Myers. When did that start? Uh, when did... Friends with Brian, acquaintances with Matt. There we go. <laughs> okay, okay. I think okay. everyone that, it's like I think everyone says that as well. I think his yeah. wife would even say, like, really good friends with Hawkins. <laughs> not uh, I don't know. He's Cardona. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, that's <laughs> he's that's Cardona. In the same room as me. Like, that's what it would be. <laughs> So, <laughs> so, so how, when did that happen at WWE or did yeah, you know them? So it was, it's a, it's a funny thing. Like Brian, Brian and I were immediate, like best friends. Same as Kofi, Kofi, those two wrote the forward to my book, uh, because they're my, literally my best friends really in wrestling and all that. Brian and I, we were traveling together. I was traveling with him and Matt because they had the free car <laughs> Because they were oh. still in developmental, yes, in three rooms. So I just jumped in. I don't take Dang up right. my room. No, I loved it. That's and, awesome. Uh, you don't have to drive. You don't have to. <laughs> you get out. Can you grab my bag for me? A hundred percent. Oh, yeah. here we oh go. My God. I need to sleep on a floor. Shocked. <laughs> like it was in the ba- I've slept in the bathtub plenty yeah. of times. They would make me bathtub beds. They would make me bathtub beds. <laughs> Ryan Kofi would uh, would make me a bed in the bathtub, and uh, but it was like. Dylan Postel is deathly afraid of the dark. I'm like, my number one fear is the dark. Really? I, I fucking hate it. Nothing good happens in the dark that doesn't yeah. happen in the light. You know what happens uh, in the dark? Murders. Yeah, that's true. Happen the Murders happen in the dark. He got hot again. He got more hot than bacon. Well, you know? what if you my, murdered somebody with a piece of floppy bacon on toast? Oh How mad would that make you? They should serve life. <laughs> serve life. <laughs> like, girl, take away the key. <laughs> <laughs> Brian and I, like, we instantly, were, we started on the road. I, I jumped in with them, and we would go to, like, a Walmart. And I was like, oh, okay. I have nothing to fucking buy at Walmart. They're going to get their <laughs> shitty, like, like healthy food. And yeah. Like, I don't know if I can get that. Hey, hey this is the New Age Outlaws traveling, yeah. by the way. <laughs> and then Brian would go, like, oh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go to the bathroom, too. And we, like, would split the group. <laughs> and then we would always run into each other at the toy section. And I was like, what are you doing here? He goes, what are you doing here? I go, I'm looking for wrestlers. He goes, I'm looking. oh, so am I. And so every time it would be like a, everyone else would go get their food or whatever they need for the road. 
iPod chargers or whatever. Yeah. And yeah. We were like, oh, we got to take a shit. And we were just looking at the rest of the <laughs> Just go and, yeah. hunt for action figures. So, do you, hey, do you, have a, do you have a collection? Time. Huh? Do you have a collection? Yeah. that's So behind me, that's all mine. Yeah. Like every figure I've ever had. Just in, like, yours? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, because this is, this is my one room. I've given myself one room of me. Yeah. And it, it's hidden from everything else. I can close the door and no one knows it's here. But yeah, I have a it, it, just a stupid collection. <laughs> it's, 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 dumb. it's just dumb. I and love it. So, so are you in on their action figure stuff and all yeah. that? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I. They always say like I'm the mascot, same as like I was for DX. I wasn't a member. I'm just the mascot. <laughs> like I'm. I'm the punching bag. And the, like, I don't me. think I was a member either. By the yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not that you won't find me on too many things I, that shows I, DX. I love it. I truly love it. And that the the major pod world has really, really uh, done a lot for me. Like, and it's it's such a fun group to be a part of, and a fun community to be a part of. Like, yeah, every every bit of it, I love, it. it's almost like rejuvenated my my career outside of the ring. And it's yeah. been really, really a ton of fun. Yeah, that that's I always uh, watch those guys vicariously, you know, yeah. li live that cool life vicariously through them. Like I would have loved to, had I not been hired back, d do something with them. You know what I mean? Like I yeah. just thought I'd love for my family to have an action figure of the family or so. I don't know. I just I, I just think this is so super cool. And like I say to them all the time, you guys have made collecting toys cool. Yeah. Like. As adults, as adults, yeah, yeah as grown oh, men, yeah, we all had to hide. <laughs> as Literally, grown we men, we all had to hide this, yeah, because we didn't want to be marked. Y'all were hiding it from other friends, and, <laughs> and you realize you yeah. realize somebody else liked it too. So here's the here's my issue. Like, let's go attitude era, okay? Yeah, uh, you and Billy and Kurgan and and fucking Luna and all that and Headbanger Mosh, not Thrasher so much, but Mosh. You're all you're all <laughs> in the locker room and you're all going, hey. You bring out your fucking action figure. Go, look at this that just came out. You couldn't do that back then without no, being just no. like, yeah pulled through the mud. And yeah, but why? Why can't we be proud of? Yeah, what we got? like well, and truth be told, like I'll still see my grandson with like one for another one of of me or something, yeah. and I'll go, hey, that's Paw Paw, and he's like, whatever. Yes, my, I have never won. I have never won a, a match in my son's figure fed in 13 years of him being on this earth. I have never won a match. He's that is always, just poor business. Fuck Torito. <laughs> At least Torito hasn't beaten me in that figure fed. Yeah. If I if if fucking Torito beats me in my own house, kick uh, yeah. rocks, my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Group ain't yeah. over your head anymore. Th 13 nope. years old, you're out on the street. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let it's me it's ask you about that. Going. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Uh, that oh. we that we L C we yeah. L C so, uh, was it we L C we L C. Um, you remember that uh, Casio? Yeah. So was... <laughs> so this is I, I I was gonna hit on this on the end, but I'm gonna, oh I'm sorry. Uh oh, no, I want to hit on it now. Okay. And it's it's this is one of those days where you do not get enough credit enough thanks and enough like praise for what you did brian for me and torito and all of them you truly truly don't and i truly mean that i wrote about in the book where it's all of that everything yeah. from the start of torito and i going through the whole thing you truly don't get enough credit for that and it's it's always talked about how it was just this crazy thing that came came like together, and it was. It's the it's the best thing I'll ever do in my career. I truly mean that. Like wow. I'll never top that. But you don't get enough credit for going to bat for us like you did for really s setting up the whole thing yeah. and coming to us like, hey, this is what they want. It's and, and you pulling me aside and me being pissed off because I just want to fucking wrestle. And yeah. You go and fit. Fit did it too. He goes, give them a little bit of the Gaga and then wrestle your ass off. Yeah. As long as they get a little bit of this, they'll be you truly. I talk about it and I, I, I truly really do thank you because I talk about in the book, how you went to bat for me and for that whole thing weekly. And yeah. I was in such a shitty spot mentally and you really like rejuvenated everything about me. And it really means a lot. 
Well, I, I appreciate you saying that, dude. I, look, the only reason I fought for it is because I knew it was good. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was, I believed in it because I always, and look, I told Vince this one time and I wish I hadn't, but I said, <laughs> I don't know if your idea is going to work. But I know for a fact mine is. You know what I mean? So so it's hard when you tell me, well, do it like this. Okay, well, that's going to suck. So we should do it like I said because it's going to be, it's gonna be really good. And it's, not all the times was that was I right, but I knew I was right here. This is going to be awesome, and everybody loves it. And so now it's just about selling it to the old man. And it and wasn't it was, a hard sell because he, he loved it too. It was a, It was a thing, that match – being on the pre-show, like in New Jersey, uh, with all of the things involved, it should have failed. New Jersey, it, behind Chicago, is the biggest. They always want to be more than the show. They always want to yeah. be that yeah. crowd. They always want to <laughs> yeah. They, they want to be, be a athlete. part of it. Like it, it's true <laughs> every time. And now you're putting two midgets in a midget lat TLC match with all of these other things, with a midget ref and a midget commentary team and a midget announce. Like, yeah, it was proposed as here's a joke yeah and it came off so like oh god they're beating the hell out of yeah, yeah yeah and and, like, and a hardcore match like the, it's it's a, so it's a tlc match, match. <laughs> like torito when he jumped through on a gender through the ladders on the outside and the yeah. one the ladder flipped and just landed on him i go <laughs> i'm seeing it in the ring i go oh he's fucking dead <laughs> I, I like I just I, I couldn't believe it. And then Drew, my favorite, probably my favorite part of the whole match, is Drew doing a front flip through the table on the outside for literally no reason. For no reason, <laughs> no <laughs> reason at that all. At 10 a.m. and we're all throwing stuff out there. He goes, "Huh? Can I just flip through a table?" And I go, "Like onto somebody." He goes, "No, just miss." I go, "Anyone fucking hearing this guy?" <laughs> he was the- and then he did it. Literally, yeah. just a yeah. front, <laughs> table dive on the outside, <laughs> no, and he should have There was nobody on the table. No, no, <laughs> just, no one. He just ran no, he down the apron and spot. did <laughs> off through off the no off. The, he did it over the ropes. Oh, I thought he it was the <laughs> over the fucking ropes and hit the, the through the table. I don't know. One. Oh don't my know God, one. bless his heart. <laughs> then we did, and then we go from that, and then we oh. work for the mask for his hair, which is like. Still, like, that's the one that no one really remembers. But for me, it really was, like, awesome to me because yeah. that one we did even more shit. And it was in Chicago. And, like, I had a couple family members there. Yeah, yeah. It um, felt good. Close to home. Yeah. And it was one of those things where, but again, like, I got I got my head shaved. And Charles Robinson is going to the Matadors <laughs> to try to rib me. Get his eyebrows. Get his eyebrows. I look right at Charles. I said, do not fuck me up. <laughs> And you can, like, when you look at the Mandalorians, go, do not yeah, cut dude. my eye. <laughs> but Man, uh, I knew it when I got to the back. I was like, oh, they're fucking with me. I, yeah. I, I, I'm not that dumb. Or uh, yet. Man, I, I, that was that was freaking awesome. It was one of the best things I've ever did while I was, while I, I was writing that show. I, That's just the truth. Dog. Dog. What? What? I got a question. <laughs> I got a question, dog. What I, is it? Okay, give me your top three things that suck. Well, insurance. Oh, buddy, health insurance number one. And insurance. Yep, health it insurance. Is, it's too sucks. expensive. Yes, it's too expensive. Yep. It's frustrating and it yep. makes me angry. So Just, I don't like it. You're confusing the old man, people. That's yeah. what health insurance does. That's Stop what it does. Sending money to big insurance companies that profit. Off of not paying your bills. 48 million claims on Obamacare last year were denied. That's one-fifth of the claims that are going to get rejected. Don't take that chance. Check out our friends over at Crowd Health. That's the better way, dog. The new yeah. alternative. I'm talking about community, and that's what this does, is really form a community where you help each other out when uh, each other needs it and, and only when. And so that's, I think it's uh, it's definitely a better uh, option when you think about your helping your friends out, you're helping the people in, in your community out rather than I'm paying a really high premium and never seeing anything for it. So it is an alternative. And I think it's an alternative that uh, people are going to be choosing. Crowd Health was created to get rid of the headaches of health insurance for $175 for an individual 
For $575 for a family of four or more, you get access to a community, like Dog said, of people who are willing to help out in the event of emergency. You also get telemedicine visits, discounted prescriptions, and more. All this without doctors' networks oh, getting wow. in the way. There's How many nothing times? worse. Yeah. Uh, the, oh, I'm sorry. Your doctor isn't in our network. What? So now I got to go to a guy. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to yeah. get into what I got to show him. But like, I'm just down to showing one guy. You know what I mean? I want to show my guy. Been showing him to my guy for years, and he yeah. was fine. And yep. now you're telling me he's not in your network. Okay. Right. Well, let Crowd Health help you with your health care needs. You can get started today for just $99 a month for your first three months when you use the code WRESTLE to get the health care you deserve. Crowd Health is not insurance. Learn right. more at joincrowdhealth.com. That's joincrowdhealth.com. Use code WRESTLE to get started today for just $99 a month yep. for the first three months. And we thank Crowd Health for supporting Oh, You Didn't Know. Oh, You Didn't Know? And it was, it was, so I, I didn't, I wasn't around you very much at all. What I got, I remember like how I got to like become buddies with you is we did a European tour where you and when you and Billy came back. That's right. And Billy and I would play gin yeah. constantly that whole yeah. tour. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And, just, and we just, he, big ass Billy. Yeah. Uh, we'd find these, every venue before the show. It would somehow big ass Billy would get like we'd find the smallest table. So for me, it looked normal. <laughs> but for him, he was just Billy. Like, yeah, gorilla. it was like a gorilla playing on a thimble. Like it was the worst. <laughs> it was the fucking worst. And then he'd get he'd be losing, and Larry Heck, the trainer, would come over and give him a hard time. Larry, you better shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, <laughs> Billy's so angry. Uh, that I was, I remember that, or, that was like 2015, I think. Because you teamed with Randy and yeah. Seamus. You had yeah. switched off every night. <laughs> yeah, yep. and I remember the first time we tagged with Seamus. He like got in there for like 15 minutes. Yes. And me and Billy were just looking at each other. Like, should we, should we sit down? Or what <laughs> you guys got to the back uh, after that? And, and you look at me, you go, we didn't fucking do anything. <laughs> And so go, the next guys, night I had to beg him. I had to nothing. beg Seamus. Yes. I was like, please, if you'll trust me, do you trust me? <laughs> he was like, yes, I trust him. I was like, don't get in the ring until I hot tag you. <laughs> Randy was the opposite. Yes. Randy was Randy, you guys did all the time. <laughs> like, Randy wasn't getting in the ring. And even when I hot tagged him, he would like come in all slow, yeah. do his thing, like bam, bam. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was totally opposite. And the, but but I sure like teaming with Randy. It was yeah. like very formulaic and very easy to figure yep. out. Very yep. easy for them to understand. Uh, who would that have been? I can't, who would that have been against? Uh, the Shield. Shield, Jesus. Yeah, okay. the Shield. Yeah, yeah it was the that. Shield every oh night, God. man. And it was awesome. And I remember Randy was working with Big Show, and uh, and so Randy they literally. Would would be yes, shameless. Randy. <laughs> Randy and Big Show every yes. night. They would switch. Randy was like, "Can I just do the six man with them?" <laughs> I was like, I get it, man. I would have asked the same thing. Mm -hmm. So you, you you were working then, though. Uh, yeah. You're working every night, right? Who were you working right? on that run? Torito. It would be like it would never be at singles. It would always be like me, Heath versus uh, me, Heath and Jinder, or me, Heath and Drew against Matadors and Torito. Yeah. And then, oh, yeah. At, man, I wrestled Torito on house shows for a solid year straight every yeah. weekend, and that's where it was. It got frustrating. So after we did. We L C and then the mask versus hair, it was like nothing. That was done. And there was a pitch for a SummerSlam match and that went nowhere. But I, we we do it on the house shows. And that's where it really like frustrated me. And it, yeah. that was talk about this wrestling, I always say, has here and here. Really, really high. And <laughs> yeah. No middle ground. There yeah. truly isn't middle ground. There's never You're right. There's no, there's no ground, gray you're area. You're true you're too comfortable and you're plateauing. And I don't want that. Yeah. So it was a real low mentally put time. And I was like, I remember every week going up to uh, you and everyone and yep. bugging everyone and going, why am I good enough for house shows? But I'm not good enough for TV. Why? Yeah. And it would just be a no one. Well, everyone throws their hands up because yeah, there's not yeah. an answer to that. There, and there, I didn't and there like really that. isn't one. And, and, no. and it's a tough position. Look, I'm sitting here listening to you say it, and I know I was part of that problem. You know what I mean? But, if, but it's it's not a thing. It's like, oh, crap, we had 30 minutes with him. We didn't get to pitch it. Exactly. Well, we, but, he, but not only he that, pitched but this and we pitched that. And, so much time on the show. 
Right, right. Where you need landscape segments, is is uh, uh, is important. Replay segments, you do that. But me being young and dumb and on the road, killing it in these house show matches. Yeah, I was like, okay, why am I? But why am I doing this? I literally would go home and go, or I'd sit at TV. You do all this house shows. You do three house shows. You get yeah. to TV. And you sit in catering all day, and you go, why am I here? Like, why? Yeah. Why? What's why, my purpose? Why, like, this is this is stupid. Why am yeah. I wasting? And then I was like, really dumb mindset of why am I wasting my time? And then it took my dad, who is legitimately in my life, the smartest human yeah. that I know and guided me through so much. And he goes, Dylan, they are paying you so much money that you'll never see again in anything like he goes, go back to Target. He goes, go. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not yeah. gonna money. What he what he hit you with was some reality. Yeah, <laughs> truly. He goes, let them pay you as long as they'll pay you. He, and right? I, I would go, but I'm 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 so fucking mad because I want to be on TV. He goes, Dylan, they're paying you to to be there. Yeah, take the money while you can. He goes, because guess what? Tomorrow it could be done. Yeah. And he would always say, remember tomorrow it could be done. And yeah. it never hit me like I was so. Like, I was there for so long. I thought, yeah. oh, they can't fire a midget. They yeah, can't. they're not gonna fire me. No, and I mean, they 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 did eventually. <laughs> they fired Torino and I the same day. Along with a mass wow. firing, and it's great. But really, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, fuck! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Just the jacked son of a bitch. Right you there. were you <laughs> were in shape for this one. Real good. Ah, uh, but it was that moment where it was like it hit me and I was like, man, so the day I got released, it was like everything stopped. It was just this weird moment where I remember sitting on my living room floor and like everything stopped. The whole yeah. world almost froze. And I, I sat there and I go, shit, what am I going to do? Yeah. Like I've never wrestled independently in all like, reality. Like, like, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Not, not as a job. What I, yeah. yeah. I, I, I've been paid well, for 10 years of my life, two weeks under 10 years, yeah. what am I going to do? I have a child who is in elementary school. As a single dad, what am I going to do? And the first person, I remember this, first person I called was Brian Myers, Kurt Hawkins. I called yeah. him and he, he goes, stop. He, I remember calling him and I go, what do I do? Because he was released at the time too. He goes, get up off the floor, stop fucking crying. I'm calling you back. Give me a bit. I go, okay, great. He goes, see if those green pants still fit. You got to start working. <laughs> I, was, I was like, okay. I was expecting a call like around supper time with yeah. like eight or two. He called me back 30 minutes later with 16 dates. And wow. like, he goes, I got you. Here's the people. Here's what you message. Do your thing. He goes, let's have fun. He goes, now is the time to have fun. And I go, okay. And I think about that moment at least once a week where it's like he was in that world and got released. And then he did not, he didn't have to look out for me. Obviously, yeah, we're best yeah. friends, but he didn't have to do that. It was one of those, like, he just wanted to me to be okay. Yeah. And it's something that I truly, truly, like, I'll never be able to repay that in my life. Yeah. I'll ever. But ever. he don't want you to. That's yeah. not why I did. Exactly. That's the beautiful part of yeah. Uh, yeah. of 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 the camaraderie that is the boys. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. some, some. I mean, we talked. I talk about X Pac a lot because I love him. But like that's it's that kind of relationship where like I cherish that dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I cherish a few people in the world, and he's one of them. And that it's, it sounds like that's what you know. I I remember calling him back and hiring him back too. Yeah. Uh, because was, and, I was on the road with him. So my, it was my second weekend fucking on the road. And I go, we're gonna, we're gonna, we had like a lot of shots where we were going to team up. Yeah. It was going to be one and a half men. It was going to be the <laughs> three and a half men. And I was like, because Joey, uh, Joey. Can't I ruined it. it. Yeah. It was great. But then we're sitting at breakfast. It was out in New York. We're sitting at breakfast. And he goes, oh, this is weird. Okay. Let me take this. And he's out. I'm like, oh, fuck. Okay. Whatever. He's outside on the phone while I'm eating my goddamn food. And he goes, <laughs> he sits down. He goes, oh, uh, I think I just got hired back. <laughs> and I go, 
fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, you can't leave me. And now I'm like shaking. I go, no, 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 you can't do this. Like, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. He goes, you're going to be fine. I go, I'm really being an asshole. I should be really happy for you. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm just, I'm very I scared. am. But still, very you're scared. buying breakfast. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, I was just so scared. And because the guy. I, hey, I, I get that, yeah, dude. Very weird, man. I felt that exact feeling right there where you felt like that guy that, that's helping you and, and you're leaning on and, and vice versa is going to go away. I cried tears down my face as the road dog when they were going to split me and Billy up. Mm -hmm. I did. I, I could not imagine doing it without him. And it's just like this, where I'd gotten to, where I was like, oh, I don't, I didn't think I could do it on my own. Like, I just didn't think that was possible, but that fear. Yeah. I don't know. It drove it me was, to do some crazy was, things. Uh, I was literally just kind of felt like I was all right. Now I, I can't do this when I, in reality. Yeah. Thank God for emails and cell phones because I can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not digging a ditch, is it? No, it's no. It's just doing exactly. some networking. And I, I truly still love it. I, I loved it then. Yeah. I, I love, I love working shows. I truly yeah. do. I truly, truly do. And I'm having, still to this day, I have so much fun doing it. And You're running some shows too, right? Yeah. Do you yeah. work on those shows, everyone, uh, or no? The big ones. I'm essentially the Undertaker of ACW. <laughs> I'm 25 and 0. Uh. And we, no, I'll put the kids over, my students. Over. Yeah. Uh, but when there's a big house, and I know there's going to be a decent house with a lot of merch on the table. Yeah. 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 Old you Dylan feel... shows up. Plus, it looks like every time you're there, the crowd's up. That's it. Exactly. Man. Yeah. I'm the fucking draw. You're the smartest guy. <laughs> Mayor Oshkosh, baby. Let's go. And, like, and Fluffernutter. Yeah. You mentioned the. Uh... <laughs> But it's, hey. yeah, we run we run this Water City Wrestling Con. That's our big one every year. Uh, yeah. In April, May, it's just every it ends up selling out every year. 12, 12 to fifteen hundred every year. Wow. And it's just an awesome, awesome thing. It's hey, like, who all works? Man, there's a guy that works up there. He's not. He's got longer blonde hair. He's not Joey, in great shape. Joey Avalon. He's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's God darn good. Yep. But I don't know that. He, and, and, and I guess he's going to hear this. I just think he needs to take it a little more seriously if he ever wants to go farther than he's, than he's yeah. going. But he's, he's head and shoulders above everybody yeah. around there. You know what I mean? We, like he's we, just, we've really coming out of our school. I'm so proud of, I mean, there's, there's a bunch that have come out of our school that I can't wait to now send you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The job. Um, I'd love it. And, and it's just, it's, it's, I love, I like seeing, seeing guys from the ground up when yeah. I started them at 17 years old or 18 or 45, when they show up on their first day yeah. and it's like, they go through the year of training and then wa they're watching their first time in front of a crowd in a match. And I feel like when it's the first time, like watching land and play basketball or football, yeah. I'm behind the you curtain, have ownership, like, you have ownership. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. It's like, it's literally, I, I call them my kids yeah. because I feel like they're my, my children, so to speak. And the other yeah. guy that trains with me, Nick Colucci, he we're both behind the curtain going, Oh, that was really good. Did oh, you say his name was tickle me coochie? Yeah, take on me, Coochie. Yep, Nick. Okay. Me Coochie. okay. I worked with him. Before. I worked with him in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he trained a lot of dudes. <laughs> but it's just one of those things where you really you see the you see the guys in their first thing, and it's 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 like seeing the kids walk. Hey, it's the it's the same way. At, at look, this is so funny because me and my brother used to work. My brother Scott and I used to work yeah. when neither one of us had a job, and I had just gotten sober. And we worked for a, a guy locally named Tiny Tiswell. He just passed away, actually. Uh, good good guy that always looked out for my family, and and so. Then me and Scotty kind of started booking the little territory that was yeah. every Sunday right here in Pensacola, 30 minutes from our house. So it was good, decent money and no big deal. And everything was gravy. So, so all the time, Scotty will say like, Oh, how's I say, it's just like booking tinies. You know what I mean? It is totally like booking tinies except with a huge budget. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> like exactly. like with, we're going to Perth instead of downtown Pensacola. Yep. Um, and so it's, but it's all wrestling, man. It's all, and you, you, I get a boost. Live television is where I 
is yeah. is where I is where I love to be. Like yeah. I love to be in that hot seat, uh, and, and not in the truck, but on headphones and 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 just that live show for that uh, two hours, three hours, whatever yeah. it is. Man, that's the one. That's the yeah. one I want. I like love to be thrown into that frying pan of live TV. So 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 now you're uh, you're seventy seven years old and you. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, what, so is your, is your kid interested in wrestling? Yeah. Is he? Oh, yeah. It's so scary, man. Oh, yeah. Really. yeah. What time? Have you let him do anything in a ring yet? Yeah. There's a yeah. couple of clips out there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Where, like, randomly, he, 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 like, randomly gave a head scissors one show. And then he did something <laughs> another show. Wait, wait. And, he randomly gave somebody a head scissors? Oh, yeah. Like somebody in the crowd? or <laughs> Like he just this hit it? This ain't, this ain't fucking talked about. He just got in the ring and did a head scissors. The guy didn't know he was coming, obviously. He was bullying his I dad. Don't, I don't know what you're talking about. And a duck dip. He fucking hit him. God, <laughs> God. Obviously. Uh, that's exactly that's what, what happened. About, dog. When I threw him to the ropes, he about sprung back towards me. I don't know yeah. how. <laughs> so I just hooked him like this. Hook the rope. Yeah. He, he hooked me. His neck and pull. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to be, he'll be champion of ACW or whatever you said your yeah. fed was. <laughs> uh, I, I, so he goes to our school literally twice a week just to, fuck around and yeah, like I'll yeah. have a couple of my like student trainers there with him i will not let him formally train till he's 17 it's yeah a rule that's a rule like those are your hey that's your yeah. bugaboo yeah you can work it's on the promo skills yeah it's, but but it's just one of those things like if i if i don't if i require uh students to be 17 when they sign up yeah i don't want to ever give him any yeah treatment. Uh, well that's yeah that's the truth oh, man so we did water city wrestling con last year it was myself uh, Brian Myers and Ethan Page. Yeah. In a, in a is he a man. good dude? Huh? Ethan, is he a good guy? Yes. I've met yeah. him, but I don't know him. He is literally my best friend. Really? He should be champion. Of, of the of, world? Of, of the world. Of the... He, there aren't many people that, I mean, obviously he's a buddy of mine. Yeah. But he, I would go to bat for him to literally anyone on this planet. And the success he's had, he deserves all of that, and then yeah. some. He's the best. He truly, truly is. And, yeah, he's uh, kind of doing it on his own. Like he gets a couple of opportunities here and there, but he capitalizes, and yep. that's what I've he's, noticed about him. That's he's the like ultimate. Him. Here's this, and he yeah. makes, and he this. makes it. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, he, and it's individual too. It's yeah. always. It's not. Yep. Not a cookie cutter crap. You know what exactly. I mean? One hundred and one. It's always. Uh, kudos to him, man. He's he, uh, doing, he does vlogs. Okay. Who well, does? He, calls fucking, his he does the vlogs, and he that's pissed me off. I look at him. You're almost fucking forty years old. We don't need to call him vlogs. And we're some TikTok bullshit. Like, we're not doing that. Like we're not we're not doing that shit. We're we call it, we that's call in the South. We call it picture talking. Picture talking. <laughs> There's another one. Like G spot. Just, picture talking. It's a matter of that G spot. Like no, it's so we're not doing that. that <laughs> My wife gets pissed if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so so man you're you were literally we, we started this son of a gun off with you saying you're everywhere uh, yeah. you literally are you got you got irons and a lot of fires it feels like you fell uphill I'm, I'm trying i truly truly am uh you can like i say you can always be more busy i'm hoping that the one man shows and the evening widths start to take off this year let's talk about that for a second yeah. i don't mean my to cut body, you off my body loves them my yeah, body but but loves so so, them. so you called them an evening with and yeah. and it, and it and it is I think it's more, uh, apropos than a stand up comedy. So, I mean, yeah, we're gonna Nesco. have fun and laugh, Nesco. but what the fuck yeah. was that word he just used? Op uh, apropos, <laughs> it's country for uh, same as. Or I think fit. I watched. I that think on it's the that's a, a few is that weeks the, ago. Uh, no, that's opera. Opera, yeah, 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 but it's the no, same. No. It's, it's the hillbilly same. Hillbilly opera. Hillbilly opera. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Hillbilly Opera. Oh, that, sounds, that sounds like a little slice of You head. know, I got a cousin. He sings at the Opera Pope. <laughs> He's up there doing it. You hey, know? did you? You said something about his kid cutting a promo. You've heard his kid cut promos? <laughs> no, just on no. me. Yeah. No, oh, he's uh, in the kid and train. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you could go to promo class. Yeah, yeah, I thought maybe you said there was a tape of him cutting a promo no, somewhere. No, no just but, random scissors. Oh, oh, <laughs> uh, so we had that six man at the show last year, and we're talking it out. 
for the one time in my life. You know, I, I that you talked about a match. <laughs> they were all the other ones were real. Uh, yeah, and then <laughs> I go out because I'm I'm running the fucking show partially too. Yeah, and I get to the back, and we're talking it out, talking it out, talking about the finish. Obviously, we're over. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then Hawkins goes. You're Billy Gunn, I think. <laughs> yeah. The Billy, you sound, everything you say just come out of Billy's mouth in my mind. I have really bad eyes. I can't look at the lights. Obviously. <laughs> um, it's glaucoma, yeah. 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 It's, it's yeah. glaucoma. I know that That's not a hillbilly word. Uh, <laughs> That's not a hillbilly. That's what I eat with my chips. Chips. I, I, I got the <laughs> legal. <laughs> glaucoma. I got the legal. I, I want avocado toast. I want guacamole on a biscuit. I want glaucoma on a I said Toyota's a glaucoma. Yeah, you know what <laughs> uh, They give me that legal weed because I got that chlamydia in my yeah. eye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that green spot. You know, uh, tomatoes. Sometimes tomatoes they just over. run. Oh, Plus, they just run. <laughs> oh, God. We're, doing it, we're talking about it. And Hawkins goes, yeah. And then we go to, then we're all going to be like, we celebrate and uh, we call Landon. And I go, what? He goes, yeah, we call Landon out. He does a splash off the top. I go, hey, excuse me? <laughs> you didn't know anything about this. Was fucking nothing. <laughs> and he walked a two-minute spot out with my son without me knowing. So I, I, I'm i looking for Landon now because we're about to go out. I go, okay, where is my son that has to do this? He goes, hey, Dad. I go, we're going we're gonna to go out there. He goes, I know. I'm fine. I go, well, what are you doing? He goes, I might do a splash. I might do a cross body. I said, you can't fucking call it out there, Landon. <laughs> You're years old. Like, <laughs> you can't do this. Uh, he goes, I'll do a splash. Dog, there's a photo online. I'll, I'll send it to you guys so you can post it with this. He is so high in the air <laughs> on this splash. You literally see Hawkins going. And you see me going. <laughs> and he's so high, he landed. Bang. Fucking pop of the night. We go to leave. He goes, I think I broke my foot. <laughs> oh! I go, what? He goes, I think I broke my foot. Mom's going to be so pissed off. I go, how did you break your foot? He goes, I landed so hard because I jumped so high, obviously. <laughs> He's your kid. I'm yeah. too athletic to my own good, guys. Then they go, you're, you're throwing it up to me like, oh, obviously I did so good. That's why I broke my foot. Yeah. Not like I did it wrong. He didn't fuck up the spot. No, no. he, he did it too good. Man. Yeah, he just did it too good. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, Hunter, when he when he when he tore his quad, he just got in the <laughs> ring just, too hot. Yeah, he <laughs> just he just hot. hit the ring too hot. Slow it down. A, it wasn't a bad step. I was just <laughs> no. fired up on that hot egg. That's oh, I, I see. That's another reason I don't work out, dude. <laughs> yeah. They get their thighs get so big they bust open, <laughs> and and more than one, and more than one time. Back. Yeah, <laughs> just don't do them like that, and they won't yeah. bust open on you. <laughs> So these night withs, yeah. your son They're broke fun, his foot. Man. Big I, night withs is it's it's just you usually. Yeah. So there's usually two openers. Uh, a local comedian in the Midwest, Mike Stricker, is yeah. usually one of them. He's uh he he's really kind of got me a lot of dates and a yeah. lot of things like that. But I love doing them. I love so I always say like it's an evening with. We do road stories as well as some shitty jokes, and it's just it, it's it's road it's WWE stuff as well as life of a midget stuff like because i can't if i go to a comedy club and i'm performing and there's this guy that's a huge wrestling fan but he's got his wife with him who's never watched wrestling in her life yeah i gotta like at least pop her a couple times yeah hopefully. yeah yeah i gotta do something and for her like, right yeah, yeah otherwise she's just standing there dumb like what the fuck there was a midget bull in a ladder <laughs> what the fuck did he what? say a midget bull climbed up a ladder yeah. What? Why? Why was he there? Oh, oh fuck, I'm done. <laughs> Tequila? Like that's one of those things. Like, and I gotta keep her interested, not just by my looks. So it's one of those. It's, it's, I, I, I need to. I really need to pull all these things in. And uh, midget comic Brad Williams, he is like through Twitter. So good. And that he's turned. You know him, like, Casio? I just yeah. Uh, another podcast I just did. We had him as a guest, and I actually. Brought our friend Dylan up afterwards. Yeah, so, uh, I had him on my. I, I interviewed him on the show, and we he's have a huge like, wrestling fan. Yeah, huge wrestling. He did the Jericho huge. cruise. Him and I did a spot on the Jericho cruise in the ring. It was great. <laughs> it was, That's awesome. It was like, I, I, I take so much from him, and like, how he is, he, he, like me, he laughs at himself. Yeah, 
if you take yourself too seriously in life and you can't laugh at yourself when someone makes fun of you you think you're above everyone and that's the that's an ego yeah yeah if if you cannot take a joke against yourself you have an ego because you think you're better than that and yeah. that's what i hate i'll be the first one to make fun of myself i always have been that's why i truly feel i never dealt with like bullying or any of that yeah because... you beat them to the punch yeah Take it away. Take it away. <laughs> exactly oh i yeah. can fit in that locker myself and yeah. then i don't have to go to class bitch yeah like <laughs> Yeah. What? Please put me in. Yes. You know, exactly. You look. Oh. You've you've seen it. You work with uh, with the Nemeth boy, the uh, Ziggler boys now. Um, yeah. Uh, the, but Nemeth, I, the Nemeth boys. The Nemeth boys, as we call them down south. Down in here, uh, we call them the Nemeth boys. Uh, and the hey, Zigglers. They sure spelled, do have pretty mouths. A n e e e e e m e t h. The Nemeth boys. Um, boy, they sure are pretty. How come? How come? Whenever. Uh, you people, I can say that. <laughs> I'm not a normie either. How come I whenever you guys say a name, it's always sounding like it's a Dukes of Hazard character? It can mm. be Jim mm. Smith. Oh, that Jim yeah. Smith, my God. It's well, always yeah. going to be. Yeah, always a Dukes of Hazard. Jim Smith well, was How's the Jim Smith going to get out of this? Director. Yeah. <laughs> he, was the, he was actually the stunt coordinator on <laughs> yeah. uh, Dukes of Hazard. What are you talking about? Of course he's And the follow-up to <laughs> yeah. Bo Boss Hard. What the fuck you got doing? He's a showrunner guy, Jim. <laughs> Jim, Jim Smith is his name. We call him Slick Jimmy Smitty. And that by God John Doe, he was the goddamn <laughs> casting director. Uh, you, Dylan, you reminded me of I first got to go out uh, many years ago with uh, Mick Foley when he first yeah. started doing his one man show. Yeah, Mike Stricker's done a bunch for him. That's, that's and I opened up for him in Birmingham the first time. I met him and, and said, "Hey, and come out." And so I do twenty minutes and it, no wrestling. I'm just doing comedy. Get everybody. Yeah settled in and we get through and we pass on stage and he grabs the mic and he goes hey did you guys love the comedy from uh casio and everybody's cheering he goes well that's the end of it like the rest of it i'm gonna tell my wrestling stories <laughs> yeah the, and he goes the... i know i see some ladies here that was the rest of your show you were <laughs> done for the rest of the night but it's, he didn't take himself yeah. seriously and now if you go see him it's not a, it's still not a stand-up comedy show but he's yeah. found out how to entertain a crowd yeah. in a with, different way. And with, with telling are, a story. Yeah. And he's a smart dude. Yes. You know what I mean? And and yeah. and Dylan, you're not. But, I mean, maybe there's <laughs> something. <laughs> that was, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. A... I apologize. Hey, so what What are you going to do? What's tomorrow going to bring for Dylan? Tomorrow, uh, Landon has a base basketball game. So I've truly... At this point in my life, in my career, if that's what I'm calling it, I, you I are. live my my schedule for like him. Yeah. Uh, in my mind, if I take a day off on a weekend to do something with him, we saw we see concerts a lot. Like, yeah. I love going to concerts. He's at that age where he loves concerts. Do I like all the shitty music he listens to? No. <laughs> but I'll go and then I'll bring him to my shitty music. Yeah, like it's yeah. one of those things where it's give and take. Exactly. Give me the last. Give yeah. me the last shitty music he took you to, and then you took. Him he to. wanted to see Young Gravy. I oh, he's so, so good. fucking mad. I go, <laughs> Young Gravy's. Yeah, Gravy's Young not Gravy. good until it's old. And then he wanted to see some <laughs> Red Skillet gal. Oh, red, I don't know Red Skillet. Sexy Red. Oh, Sexy whatever. Red. Yeah. Oh. I go. She what sings the, all the fuck? Dirty Rap. What the fuck is a she Sexy sounds, Red? She sounds. She uh, sounds. I thought you were talking about the Amazing Red. No, I love that's my hero. <laughs> that was Amazing Red. I have told him through Twitter DMs all the time. Amazing Red was who I fell in love with independent wrestling with. Like that really? was my guy. Did you see a, him around a lot or just I've on I've never videos? been on one show. That's a dream. Not and not like a singles anymore because I can't yeah. work anymore. Yeah. But like a scramble to be involved with him. It was him and Jack Evans who were my I'll two be like high school age heroes like yeah indie wrestling was cool at that age it was fucking yeah, heck yeah. Honor and, and amazing was, red wow. is amazing you yeah. know what i mean like yeah. he was I, he was i worked with him a lot through tna and man his, what a, what a great knees, human being too if his knees would have held up he could have been the next ray easy yeah yeah the for sure he did then it was like no one saw any of that stuff. Not even like Mexico or in Japan. No, no one saw they it. weren't. They weren't doing the stuff he yeah. was doing. Um, so, uh, so tomorrow, I mean, I, I live my life now to just. If I take a day off on the on a weekend, 
I know I can make, I'm going to try my best to make it up the following weekend. Yeah. But it's now like, I just uh, love spending time with him during the week. And because he's at 13, it's getting to the point where heartfelt moment Yeah. where it's like, I'm being as, as you felt the coolness of dad. <laughs> yeah. Isn't there as much. It, it, it wears and off. It's like, He's doing things with friends on a Friday night yeah. or on a Saturday. And he yeah. wants to, which whatever, it's great. He wants to go to high school football games. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll just sit here and I'll just be here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, if you, and then you say, and the cat's in the cradle yeah. on the silver spoon. <laughs> little boy blue. That's exactly it. And it, I is, it is it, bro. And you got to learn to let, you got to start learning to let go now. Yeah. Because when he That's, goes to college and his mom, and man, his mom, Kalamazoo, uh, his mom goes, Dylan, you were a teenager. Did you want to hang out with your dad? I said, no. I want to fucking play video games and go chase gals. Yeah. I go, oh, no. He could better not be chasing gals. No, 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 no. He, and so it's like, oh. and it, it's, I That's I okay. Love... Him and her and the baby can move in with you. Everything's going to be fine, Dylan. <laughs> I can't do it, man. <laughs> I mean, I got a chop rum splash diapers. better than anybody that's ever done. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies love me. The, the ladies love me. Yeah, I'm the ladies petting the men's regret, baby. <laughs> I just, he, uh, I, 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 it's just life. I love yeah. during week life. I love hometown dad and running the school life. And then it's on the, the weekends, best. traveling the road. I, I, I truly love it. Wait, right, yeah. save some of this. Save some of this because. We, when we end every show, we're not ending right now, but we're yeah. in a little bit. When we end every show, we have the thankful minute. And so we, we give, we put 60 seconds on the clock and let yeah. you tell us what you're thankful for in your life. So I want you to save some meat on the bone there. Yeah. But, but, but look, I know exactly what you're saying, Dylan, yeah. because for a while now I've been while doing live events, I can do them from my house. You know what I mean? So I'm doing them from my house mm -hmm. and, and, now I have to go to the office for like three days and it's like, Oh God, I don't want to <laughs> leave my house. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I too love babysitting my grandkid. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not very exciting uh, to everybody else, but it's, it's the best thing ever to me. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, just come, I have to leave my house to come here because my internet sucks so bad at <laughs> home. I have to come up to this building and like leaving today. I was like, God, I don't want to go up there and do that. <laughs> I just want to sit on my ass. What's just, wrong with that? I love it, man. I truly love it. I love, I am very, very, we're not going to get into it because that'll be a thankful moment. But it's Okay, not, we'll life, get there. I we'll always, get there. I always say life, I like, I end always with my, my video diaries. Just, life is good, man. Yeah. Life yeah. Is, it can always, man, it could be a lot worse. I'm hey. getting paid to sign my, I always say, I'm getting paid to sign a fake fucking name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and look, I've said this before too, that little stint there where I was unemployed, I went on these, con these con conventions and stuff. And for two years, yeah. DX was hot. You know what I mean? <laughs> like nobody remembers the real double J Jesse James. Nobody really, really cares about uh, the road dog after DX, but that, that run yes. was monumental. And yeah. I signed autographs 20 years later and made money doing, I was just yep. like, what in the world? And it's all about perspective, man. That's Get it exactly. in your head. Because you said something earlier, it could be worse. And truth Way be worse. told, everybody could say that. Yeah. Like, unless you're literally being drawn and quartered at if, the time. Like, you could you probably... you work at Target and you hate going to fucking work at Target every yeah. day, leave. Find something. Yeah, else. yeah. Go, work, go stand out there with work. a yellow vest on going like this. Work, yeah. Work you know what I mean? Like, do, do whatever you want to, but... Don't be miserable. No, work. Yeah. Uh, enjoy <laughs> it because you're doing it every goddamn day. Like, yeah. I have a question for you, Road Dog. Okay. Mm. Came to mm. mind when I when I when I signed up to do this today. <laughs> when you signed the contract. Yep. <laughs> uh, how did you get T-shirts such as Roll a Dog a Bone and Doggy Style and all of that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've been asked it a million times. So it was, look, it was a company that was privately owned. You know what I mean? Like it was, it was Vince's company. And so it, there, it didn't need spot. We didn't have sponsors and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we, so like we did, but it was. Coca-Cola them weren't on yet? So, so that, no, they were, it was, you got some, some video games, you got some, but it was Vince, Vince could do whatever he wanted to do. And, and he didn't give a shit. 
Yeah, it's <laughs> Dom said yeah. Stacker Two, yeah. Yeah. Stacker Two, and and uh, what was the other thing? The uh, Kaboom Box, the JVC Kaboom JVC Box. JVC Kaboom that Box. That remember they busted one over my head, and I busted one over. You did Glenn's. Super Soakers. Yeah, yeah, I would stu- Super so- Stride X. Stride X, that was it. <laughs> yep. But you uh, see, those were all things that were like that. The, they didn't care that they were a bit nasty because Stride X is selling to kids with acne. You know what I mean? The same kids that are watching and going. <laughs> Stone Cold. Anyway. So oh, but like a- hey, we went to the gas station immediately and bought the stackers too. We didn't even know what we were buying them for. We're just like, oh, yeah. Gas station fat burners. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, no, we it's, used to it's snort now, them. Now, like nowadays, it would be like gas station dick pills sponsoring. Yeah. That's what it would be. That's exactly. Like, oh, that that brings us to our pills. next Great. sponsor. No. Sure. Lugs, fucking lugs. Extends. Guarantee, guarantee, Road Dog had. 17 pairs of lugs at all times. Oh, yeah. Or three of them. And he talked <laughs> the other 15 off the all back. Yeah. Go, These lugs, I keep fucking, they keep taking from me at the airport. I don't they, know just, why. they just keep taking them from me. Like, oh. I, that, that's surprising. I guess I never thought about that, that there was never a, like a someone fighting against it. So I'll tell you the person that fought against it, and it was when uh columbine happened and it was on happened on 420 and there was a big deal made about that oh, and so oh. it, they came out right then and said throw every t-shirt in the incinerator we're not going to ever sell those again and and so then it was from then on it was anything but, really i never anything that. but that yep that's a and apparently that's hitler's birthday and it's the day of columbine like is it's a, it really yeah i think i don't know i may have just made that up um and if i did then i'm I, i'm in real <laughs> trouble here i'm gonna say I'm fluff or nutter and then you just cut out um, the way it is april 20th yeah so it was a lot of a lot of bad things happened on that date and i i told them i was like it's it has nothing to do with that it's about marijuana <laughs> Right. And they were yeah. like, uh, yeah, well, we're not. And so I, I tried to buy the shirts. Like, I, I, I literally tried to upset I said, I don't care if you have 100,000 of them. I'll buy yeah. them. You know what I mean? Like, how much can I buy them for? And they wouldn't. They, would bur- they really? were going to burn them. Yeah, they were going to burn them. You humped men. <laughs> Did you ever see the one I did recently that re- resurfaced of me doing Stone Cold? Like, I never remembered that, but there's totally... Yeah, he and, gave me the business for a while, too. God, I was back for there a, a minute. While. I was back there for a minute. Like, yeah. boom, I was waiting on him to hit me with a back elbow, Just and he, time. like, he like kind of let me go with it. Yeah, yeah. It was like, awkwardly He long. was like, look, you can stay back there, but you ain't going to be back, back there all day, kid. And I was like, well, <laughs> hell elbow me. I don't know what to do <laughs> here. Not kid. <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead and finish off, son. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> At least one of us will get pleasure out of it. I, I, just, uh, I think about that. I go, like... How the fuck did this well, happen? Well, for one thing, for one thing, I mean, if, if, like, if, yeah, if you crazy. back that up, the, 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 how did you get away with that? Why would you do that? <laughs> like, that's, that's the question I ask yeah. myself is, why did I hump a man from behind before yes. I hit him with my finish we, or he wiggles out of it? Correct. Like, I don't and know. I'm assuming I just, you did this on house shows. But that was, you know what, that was... Did you do it on house shows, too? Yeah. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did it all the time. Uh, to anybody that would stand there for a second, let me do it. I always but, had to go over the finish in the back sometimes. It was, you know, it, was, it was the little things like that that I feel like made people talk about me in a way that I knew my my wrestling skill wasn't. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, I knew they weren't going to go, what an athlete that road dog is. <laughs> uh, but they might have go. He screwed a dude in the butt and then hit him in his finish. You know what I mean? Like it and he wore a shirt that said, doing it doggy style. Yes, doing it doggy. Like, and would say that in my promo, yes. too. Like I, I don't know how I got away with that. And I do question like a lot of that. Like, well, why did you do that, Brian? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I, don't I know. never, I never knew the the four twenty thing. That's uh yeah, that that's was a that's very a, interesting tidbit. That's a, yeah, that's a, a little bone. tidbit of information. Yeah. Well, they just um, burned them. Yeah, they got rid of them all, all of them. Just uh, an that's incinerator. Crazy. That's what they told Think me they were going to do. All the money you could have made on the indies. Oh, and I got fired not long after that. So I it was. Oh, you would have been <laughs> killing I it. I, I still have a tote. I have a tote. Do, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I bet you do, you little son of a beast. Hey, so what about hey? But let's talk briefly before we before we yeah. part ways about Cardona. 
And I know it's a weird <laughs> conversation and you don't really like him and neither does his wife. Uh, it's like Hawkins describes it as the, the, the biggest love hate relationship in wrestling history is him and as me and Matt. Yeah. We're like, we love to be around each other and talk to each other for about 94 seconds. <laughs> that, that's our limit. And we know, we know our limit. We know our limit. And it's like, Hey Matt. Hey Dylan. Good to see you. Good to see you. Why, why is that? Cause he fucking annoys me. Road dog. <laughs> that's why. Is it because he's from long Island? Well, that's one really good that's, reason. That's a, that's I like a reason. One really I like reason. Brian. Brian. I hate fucking New York. I fuck. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. There yeah, I, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a fan of stupid. NY. Five miles should take five minutes or less. Maybe <laughs> ten minutes, maybe. Not fucking nine hours. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> That's the truth, Lance man. Go on, man. I, <laughs> oh, oh, you're gonna raise a kid in Manhattan? Where are you gonna take the kid for walks? Right. Get, well, we're not going for walks. I can tell you that much. We don't want walks. Not at my we house. Walk. Hey, Here's but the only reason park. I bring up Cardona is that yeah. is. He's really done something with himself, man, and it's yeah. and it's and it's cool to see um, him do it on his own. Like, look, he's always been a talented dude. I was always a yeah. fan of his, uh, not not a friend of his, but a fan of his, and and, and just because I had, didn't spend time with him. But man, all you guys have a real. I, I guess we have it like DX has it. We're all still friends and stuff, but you guys got a real camaraderie and it seems like there's a, probably a couple more of you involved uh, with the, it, yeah. it, but it, but it's, there's really a cool camaraderie with you guys and it's no matter where you've gone in your separate ways, you've always kind of ended up together. That's yeah. And uh, Matt is in all reality, Matt's one of my close friends. Yeah, he is. You were talking about the camaraderie with that and, and, getting fired and not knowing what's next. Yep. Matt worked for WWE most of his adult life. Yep. Like it just, he, he, he got released and he never worked Indies really. He worked yeah. again, like me, he worked a couple of, in, in, out of New York for a couple of years, yep. but he didn't work the Indies like they are now. And it's such a, but he's, he truly has made. He's, it's incredible to see you. And made I, a second run. I know he's making money too, man. Yeah. I know he's making money, but but it, not, not just wrestling. He's got a, he's a smart dude. That, that yeah. And we talked, that's why the camaraderie thing with the, the, the close friends is, is when I put the book out, uh, the publishing company is like, Hey, could you get like John Cena to write the forward? Yeah. Like, that easy. Yeah. Done. Yeah. I, yeah. Ah. I could do that. We call big match John right too. Uh, but it was, yeah. it was like, I was like, no, I want Hawkins and I want Kofi. And they go, they kept kind of asking me, but why? I said, they're my two best friends. And I said, do not send me the forwards with any transcript you send me. Do not send me. And they go, why? I said, because I want to see it when everyone sees it. It was like a weird thing that I wanted to happen. Yeah. So the day it came out, I remember reading it and Kofi Hawkins is like this such a nice heartfelt <laughs> fucking look what he's done with his life with his kid he's really broken down barriers and kofi was a fucking roast <laughs> like it was a great roast where i'm like crying reading hawkins and then i'm like what this is my friend this is my friend asked me to write this. only your friend would have written that they got the forwards to each other and brian goes I texted Kofi like I didn't know this was where we were supposed to go with this. <laughs> I and it I was, had no it was idea I was supposed to be mean. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was in print, and then he rounded it up with a very heartfelt thing at the end. Yeah. It was one of those things like I'm so glad that I had it happen that it, that's what I what we went with because that's me and that's my life. It's not yeah. this and and a Mick Foley doing a forward or this guy doing a forward or that. Yeah, wouldn't have been fake by any means, but they right, don't right. know me. They haven't experienced life with me. Yeah. And it's it really really meant a lot. But the camaraderie, I talk to those guys every day. Still Kofi, Kofi's every a great day of my dude. Life. Kofi's a great person, isn't he? I just, I Kofi is the one guy in this world where I go, if you have a problem with Kofi or say like say one bad word, <laughs> you're a piece of shit. Yeah, you like, you suck. Yeah, there yeah. is not one bad thing to say about that man yeah. in this e world, like ever. From any angle, from anybody. It's Bobby no, Eaton. It's the no, Bobby Eaton effect. No, he will go down you know as I mean? the nicest human in wrestling history. A hundred percent. Like, yep. I, just, I, I agree with that. No bad bone. 
and nothing negative about him. No, no, he, always, always positive, and that's what I've always liked him. He's an undercover dickhead, I call him. I always call him <laughs> UDC. Yeah. Uh, or no, I just made that up. Yes, UDH. Because he'll just, he'll throw these jabs in where you go, was that, was he shit on me? Like, <laughs> just like the, the and DC sniper. I call Kidman the DC sniper. Because yes. he will just throw in a jab that cuts you to the bone, you know? <laughs> he does it to get other people riled up or fighting, <laughs> and then he leaves. And then he comes back five minutes later, and I'm cussing this guy out. <laughs> He's just all smiles. Uh, Why are y'all fighting? Oh, yeah. Okay. Just talking shit. Yep. (laughs) I love it. That's that's what a friend is. He'll drop that bomb on you and walk away. Yep. Yeah. (laughs) Hey, that takes us to, I think, where we need to be, and that's to the thankful minute, dude. I want to say say for a minute, thank you so much for taking the time out to do this with us. It was great to catch up with you for a second. It'll be greater when we do part two because we'll definitely have you back, man, if you'll you'll have us. Yeah, when I got reached out to about this, it was like, oh, I haven't talked to Road Dog in a good amount of time. This is going to be great to not only catch up, but, like, whenever I do stuff like this, it's always like, when did you start? When did you do this? And it's yeah. like, but with, with, with someone like you and that kind of thing, I know it's going to be so lighthearted and so like, not by the bow. Oh, okay. Not, yeah, I yeah, call it the man. Wikipedia interview. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. like, it's just not that. And, uh, but yeah. I try to do that, but I can't hold it's, myself it, to it. Like, I'm like, okay, when did you start? Remember that time we started hey, coke dog, off Did of you that? know he's the final <laughs> cruiserweight champion? Ever. Yeah. There we, until it changed this shitty purple belt, you know? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> you weren't that. Anyway, let's, let's, so what we do, yeah. uh, Dylan, is we throw, uh, first off, give us all your, all your Twitter handles. All, oh, where yeah. can we find you? The book, uh, everything. Yeah. At Dylan Postel on all forms of social media. Um, youtube.com slash Dylan Postle, pro wrestling tees.com slash swoggle, where there's just designs from the podcast and all that jazz. The podcast is uh, the video version is free on youtube.com slash Dylan Postle. Otherwise, going Postle is available anywhere where you find your favorite podcasts. Check it out, leave a review, uh, download it, subscribe to it. Thank you guys very much for uh, for the follow up with that. And it's it's the podcast and the video diaries and the channel are truly like they're be, they're fun. Like I love I we recorded today and yeah. I love to just getting in my office and turning the mic on and going, Okay, what are we talking about? Oh, we're just doing an intro for an interview. Great. Yeah. But an intro for an interview, which is supposed to be three minutes, turns into <laughs> twenty minutes of me ranting because something <laughs> irritates me because I'm the most angry man on the planet. Like I'm literally little Billy Gunn, but not as Jack. I'm more <laughs> Uh, baby baby yeah. billy gun yeah but it's just it's it's that those are my plugs just at dylan postal literally wherever you can find anyone yeah and the book and, and the book right yeah dylanpostle.com for exclusive merch uh signed books on there uh some that's a project that i never thought would have happened i always like was like oh i might have a cool story to tell but then it happened and it's in book form and i go into detail i want it to be the first book from a wrestler and everyone says this now and it's so stupid but because it's all untrue but it's i wanted to be the first wrestler to not bury anything again that was a uh, eric postel my dad thing he goes yeah don't burn a bridge because you never know if that bridge will come again because yeah. there's no sense to burning a bridge with anything so i wanted to be like the first book in wrestling that was thankful and grateful yeah. for everything yeah sure i'm pissed off in parts of it and uh, like everything and i tell those places yeah spots but in all reality i'm not six foot two and 250 pounds i shouldn't have had a run in all reality but when i got hired and they tell me hey this is gonna be a six month gig and it ends up being two weeks under 10 years <laughs> crazy man like you you're doing all you know what i never said my brother brad worked for wcw for 10 years and paid, got paid 1500 bucks a week for 10 years and wrestled probably four times. Yeah. And that's the truth. You what? think about that. They, they would literally w- call w- him. They just would pay him just so he would be there. And they would just call him and go, Hey, will you come in and put over so-and-so? And he would just come to the show and 
be in a match against Bobby Eaton or Arn Anderson or whoever, you know what Almost I mean? But guys towards the end of WCW, just making bank, just making bank and sitting at home, man. Yeah. That's what he did. That's what he did. Oh yeah. If y'all need me to make somebody look good, I'll be here. Yep. All right, here we go, Dylan, with the thankful minute. We're going to put a bomb up on the uh, on the yeah. screen here in a second. Put you under pressure. It's not a promo. It's just nope. you saying what you're thankful for for a minute. Dom, put that bomb up. Boom. Uh, my son, more mm. than anything, um, he literally is the reason why I get out of bed every day and why I uh, try to strive and work as much as I do. Uh, because I know that this can't end anytime. Uh, my dad, because he has made me legitimately the human I am, uh, whether it be with raising my son or just everything in life, not spending money like an asshole. Uh, it's it just, it's everything. And it's, it's, I'm thankful that I really get to do what I love to do still to this day, whether it's bite an ass or do a night of stand up, fake stand up. Or uh, just sign my fake name. I truly, yeah. life is good. Life, uh, life is good. Amen. Amen. It is good, man. I couldn't have said that better myself. And that's what you know. That's why I, I, I can't finish that. I can't finish it any better than that, dude. You said it, yeah, and man. it's all about it's all about the future. Yeah. And I don't have much of that, but I'll do with the people that will what I can. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's yep. all I can do, yes, man. That's awesome. all I can do. Dylan, thank you so much for this. Thank, thank you, you for that. Thank you, man. Minute, Great man. stuff. Yeah, really, really good good storytelling. And I, I, I want to have you back if you'll have yep. us back. Anytime. Uh, we'll, we'll reach back out in a while and have, have part due. My, uh, my computer's all on, boys. I'll try <laughs> not to talk about Matt Cardona so much. <laughs> hey, Dylan, if you didn't like this episode right here, I got two words for you. Suck it. That's not very nice. Son of a Ready for some great news during the holidays? Just last week, interest rates fell lower than they've been in months. <gasps> this could be your chance to finally pay off all of your high interest rate credit cards and lower your monthly payments by 500, 600, 700, even $800 a month. And how much can you save? It's free to find out right now at SaveWithConrad.com. And you don't need perfect credit or money out of your pocket. And you even get to skip your next two house payments at SaveWithConrad.com.